Hey guys, Crisis here, and today in this video of Tarkov, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly make money in customs. I normally tend to go for the stashes uh, since I spawn uh, till uh, I uh, evac, and it also helps if you spawn uh, on the right side of the map, on the left side of the map. So I'm going to show you guys the quick path where you can loot uh, pretty much all the caches, make a ton of money, and uh, most of the times evade the PvP. If you're looking to make some money, this is probably the best way you can make it. So, to start with, you go with the stash here next to the wall. It's a quick, uh, quick one to see. Nothing too big. Put everything, uh, and you're good to go. Next up, after this cache, you want to go here, a bit more to the left. Let's just hit the one in the building. This building is also pretty good to get some loot, but mainly we're going for the stash route. So. Get everything you can, and then uh, after all these two, you just go down the road here. After you, after you come uh, down here, you're gonna meet another Kasha here. Pay attention to the, the hole on your right, because there are some spawns here, so... Pay attention that uh, if you're looting, that uh, you pay attention to the sounds next to you, because... With, with the sound of the looting, you might not hear people sneaking up on you, so... If you need to stop looting to see if you're... If you have to make sure there's a guy next to you, make sure to do so, because that will help you a lot. After that, just come... Just follow the wall, and you'll meet another Kashi. There you go. If you loot any rigs, I would uh, advise you guys to take the rigs. So you can have, like, more space to put stuff in it. Before moving to the other Kashi, I always like uh, checking this. Because you can find some pretty decent mods. That'll give you quite a bit of money. And after that, you go all the way right. All the way right till you get to a dumpster. And then that dumpster, you're gonna find the next cache. After that, just make your way up in the hill. Nothing too biggy. Where we're gonna have two more caches. One. All the way on the right, and one a bit on the left. The one on the left is not that easy to uh, to see what it is. My advice is you follow the the blue fence, because that gives you a good marker to where it is. Just go out, just make your way up. Hug the blue uh, fence on the left, and it should be right in the bush. After this one, you go a bit more to the right until you see a big rock. This will give you a good marker where the Arakashi is. You're going all the way right till you made a fence. Then you're gonna see a big bush right here. In this bush, this is where you're gonna find the Arakashi. There you go. We're finding a lot of pistons for some reason. After that, we go a bit more to the left. To the Raider Tower. We go all the way down the hill. Pay attention that sometimes scab boss can spawn. In gas stations, so you need to watch out. So, uh, yeah you don't get clapped by him because now scabs have a really long range and it's possible that they can nade you or even shoot you while you're coming down the hill so watch out for that seeking of which that might actually be him but i only heard one pair of footsteps so it's probably a normal scab or a player you never know assume it's gonna be a scab after that just come to the right side 
Ga op in de hill. Where you're gonna find another big radar tower. Next to it is gonna be another blue barrel that you can loot. That might have some goodies in it. Right about here. There we go. After this, what I like to do is I don't like going to the right side because you might find some people going to customs or getting out of customs. So if you're trying to evade the PvP and just mainly going for loot, I suggest you go a bit more to the left. Use the trees for cover. Or to be like uh it kind of cam uh, kind of makes you harder to see too. You just stay in the trees. Go more to the left. Through the gates. And we're gonna have the, our other car ship right at this pillar here. Move everything we can, and then we move on to the other ones. The other ones is is really easy to find too. Just come here to the right side. And it's gonna be uh, next to uh, a big tree. Might take you some time to find. Once you see this big tree right here, just go a bit more forward. And on this down tree, you're gonna find the other Kasha. After that, just go forward. Do you see the big metal pipes? On these metal pipes, you're gonna see some, uh, it's gonna be right here. Pretty easy to find. Oh, you need to watch out for scab sniper. Which I completely forgot about him, but yeah. Need to watch out so to make sure he doesn't just sh outright shoot you right there in the head or something. Makes it really hard for you. After that, I like to go all the way down. Don't do what I did and go to the middle of the road. Try and be more to the right side as, as possible. So you can use like the bit of the trees and the grass to cover to cover you. And go inside the big container. We're gonna find the other one. Take that out to get all the loot we can, more loot. Matches on sale that much. After that, you just have to play with your inventory to see what else you you want more. Let's not take that, or else that's gonna make the video look really bad because Spain killers. After that, what I do, I just come on this hole too. Normally, this run does take a bit because uh, I have to play a bit safer. But most of the times people are gonna rush the dorms area and the new building area, so it's not super it's not super bad. So oh, gonna ignore that scouts for a bit. You have one more stash here. I normally don't take this stash because if someone sees you coming down here, you're really easy to kill and there's not many places you can get out. But if you're doing a scab run and you're looking for that extra loot, you can always come down here. There's sometimes gonna be a big scab backpack here that you can loot, which can have a, a red key card. I've never got a red key card from it, honestly. So, I wanna get your ropes way too up. After that is done, we just go all the way down. Where we're gonna get our, our two other cautions. One on the gas station, and the other one at the bottom. This one on the gas station, I'm pretty sure everyone knows. This is where you can have the giving tree, which can have every single, any kind of item of the game. So. There's some decent loot you can also get here. Make sure when you come here you look at the tree to see if there's anything decent. In this case there's a, a catter, not too much. Then we loot Takashi right here. There we go. 
got some food. Make sure you watch out for the scabs, because there's a couple of them sometimes here. This actually might be a scab player right here, not entirely sure. Make sure you look at the table, sometimes here you can find some really good mods, even a red rebel or a, a rig that can have a documents case and all of that, so it's always worth to check it. Oh. After that we go back to the way we came. Easy enough, and we go all the way down. In this pathing here you need to take care because if you go way too down, the scab sniper is going to take shots at you. And this is a scab sniper that you can't see uh, or shoot. And it doesn't matter if you're behind a bush, behind a tree, or anything. He'll just ki kill you. So, watch out for that. Look at the sign, and don't go after that sign. In this bush, we're gonna find our other caution. Okay. After that, you just quickly move a bit to the right. Do you see a big tree? In this big tree, you're gonna find the other stash. There's stash right here. If you have troubles finding it, look at your feet. As you can see, when I when, when I go on top of the cache, it does like that wood effect on my foot. That can also help you decide if you're like in the wrong place or not. We get some AK. Open our rig, see, actually take that out, get that, which is more money. There we go. After this, just talk the w the wall here on the left. The safest way you can go. And this uh, is where it gets a bit tricky. Well, you can really get some luck, uh, and uh, I would advise you going inside this building and looting the library. It's just because you can get uh, a lot of uh, documents. You can get a lot of documents that are selling for 320k, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But I would say if you go inside here and you see that the place is looted, for example, it doesn't look like it's looted right now. Let me just drop some stuff, because my guy is happy. I'll drop the chops, because the chops is actually worth a lot of the money. I'm gonna drop the AK in this case. Okay. Always loot to this AK if you find it, because it always has BT on its mag. So, three bullets. The library here is probably the only place I would actually loot, since you can find a, a lot of intel here, which sells for a lot of money. But again, if you feel like the, if you see that the place is looted, I would suggest not coming here because everyone knows that spot. So after that, go to the door here on the right, where you can find some sugar, which is selling for 80k right now, pretty good, and make your way out of here. Make sure to watch, uh, watch out for the scab. This the sniper scab, because these guys can give you a bit of a trouble. Don't always watch out for those. And after that, we're going to our last caches of the run. Make sure you always uh, check the dead scab here. Sometimes you can get some slicks, some really good stuff. In this case, I didn't get anything, but what happens? Go all the way here. Okay. <laughs> Almost died to a shotgun scab, because that's how dark obvious, right? Pop that sim, because I don't want to face anyone, because I might just die here. <laughs> and uh, once you go down here, we're gonna find our last caches. <coughs> Pretty easy standard. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty much it. 
in, it, in this case, we got the exit right next to us, so it's a pretty easy one. And we can leave here. And pretty much you do the same thing. If you spawn on the left side, you do pretty much the same pathing we just did to get all the caches. Of course, this is easier said than done because when you have to face players and everything, it's a lot harder. But this is the path that I normally take. And uh, in, th in this run, it wasn't even one of my best ones because sometimes you get fueled, you can get some intel from the library, some really good stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the quick... Uh, stash route i take which i can make a lot of money out of it and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys have a good one